158 days uh, of uh, the heroes of the Battle of Stalingrad, which were awarded by the uh, highest awards uh, written here. What is yeah. the uh, what is the highest uh, award? Yeah, the highest award is this uh, star in the middle. What's he, it called? He, uh, the uh, Medal of Hero of Soviet Union. Yeah, made of gold. gold. That was the only one uh, battle where so many women were involved to about 50,000 women fought together with men. Yeah, they were nurses and uh, also soldiers, the, uh, the members of the anti-aircraft yeah, during the battle. And uh, the third floor was uh, built up uh, after the war. So this is a new part. Yeah, it does look new, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, this, uh, uh, most of the buildings of uh, Tsaritsyn uh, survived the battle. They looked like that. Rich people lived here. The, that was a quite great uh, uh, city. A uh, lot of uh, businessmen yeah, lived there. See the hedgehogs? Uh, here we can read. There is another entrance, but we go through another. Right now, exposition in the uh, cell of uh, department store. Uh, the place of the capture of the by, by 38 motorized uh, uh, brigade. Uh, mu uh, museum memory, the place of the capture of the headquarters of the 6th uh, German Field Army oh, wow. and General Field Marshal Friedrich Paulus. Yeah. And uh, right now we're heading downstairs into the other buildings of the ruins Stalin right in the background. That's a, the ruined department store in the background that we were just standing in front of. So we will have some, uh, some time to try uh, our cool. And we will keep the memory, uh, for, uh, the motherland will keep the memory forever. August 42, January 43. And uh, here we will have two uh, uh, warriors of Russia, the soldiers of Stalingrad, given their lives for motherland and saved the world from the fascist slavery. slavery. How many soldiers, Sandy? It's 2,500 uh, soldiers mass burial here. The Lake of Tears. Uh, you can see these uh, six uh, monuments, all of them made of the two uh, uh, persons and uh, they show the brotherhood uh, uh, during the war yeah, of soldiers without that uh, help to each other this victory would not be respondent uh, uh, Grossman who was uh, in Stalingrad during the battle and uh, uh, he was a witness here and uh, after the war he wrote uh, uh, novel in one uh, where he describes what was happening here and uh, some of the words uh, is written here uh, iron wind was blowing to their face and they were still going forward uh, and again the uh, silence of superstitious fear was covering the enemy were these people mortal who went to attack or not will pass and the new uh, generations of people would change us but here to the bottom of the great uh, monuments of victory would come uh, our uh, grandsons and grand grandsons uh, grandsons of heroes they will bring flowers and then bring their children children here thinking about the past uh, 
and uh, uh, dreaming about the future they will remember those uh, who has uh, fallen defending eternal flame of, uh, flame of life Mobilizing the whole country, united country. So after the victory in Stalingrad and after the defeat of these forces, German forces here, the people of the uh, whole Soviet Union, they, uh, they believe that they can uh, uh, defeat the uh, German Nazi forces and uh, uh, 86 meters. Uh, from the legs to the top of the sword, from the legs to the top of the head, she is 56 meters. Her weight is uh, 8,000 pounds. Yeah, and it is made from the reinforced concrete, and the height of the sword is almost 30 meters, like a uh, 10 floor building in her hand. Yeah. Uh, uh, was a consultant and uh, which became a symbol of uh, defense of Stalin. The main argument uh, is that Evgeny decided to give a face of uh, this general so that uh, this is Vasily Chukov, not Chukov. Yeah, yeah, yeah.